out, Steve. Oh. Oh. We're still alive. No shit, son. No shit. But where are we? Well, we know where we are. We're in Antarctica. Oops. Did she fail it? Did she fail it? Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. Here we are on part two of the game. Great. There's a whole another part to the game. Um, I still have all my weapons and shit, so that's cool. So, all right, plane cannot be used anymore. There's no need to go back. There's no need to go back. All right then. Well. Okay, wrong button. Do we have a map? We have a circular. Structure, we have a ladder, we have thing going on, I don't know, anyway, there's a door here, the emergency evacuation VTOL storage, restricted area, so fucking what, let me in, restrict it all you want, I'm still going in, no, doesn't want me to go in, fine, I'll go down your stinking ladder, but only because there's nothing else to do, otherwise I wouldn't listen to your bullshit. So one thing I can't help but wonder about this game is, do we get to play as a dude? I mean, we get to play as Steve for like two seconds, but like, on the opening screen, you see Claire next to a dude, which I assume is Chris Redfield. I have to get back to put, dude, what, ah, uh, the buttons, man. I'm, you might be wondering why I forget the buttons every time I play this, because I'm playing fucking Parasite Eve, which has like different menus buttons, so I get a little confused with it. All right. Oh, God, I hear zombies in here already. Great. Fucking great. Let's just go. Which way is the one that has? Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, no Zambos over here. Let's go in the dough, then. Acting like you never seen it Zambofo. Through the dough. Go. Go. Through the dough. Cutscene, yo. No, not cutscene. That's just a zombie in the foreground. Hi, zombie. How are you? I'd let you out if I could. Probably can and will. Wait, what? I found handgun bullets. Yay. Uh, more handgun bullets. Yes, indeed. Speaking of handgun bullets, I have that equipped, right? For some reason, I thought I had the double handguns equipped. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, blue herbs. Blue herb. Oh, and there's another herb right next to it. Surprised I actually saw the damn herb. Green herb, green herb, a metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this to process metal materials easily. All right, so we'll have to get some metal materials. All right, we'll keep that in mind. When we find some metal materials, we're coming back to this room. Ink ribbon, yeah, yeah. Not that I need any more. Good lord, I still have like ten of these bitches. How do I, how do I get in there? Does the map, like, give me a way to, like, say, oh, you can go in there that way? Not really. Just trying to see if there's literally anything. Just looks like it's locked, so we'll have to just leave it at that for now. Leave it at that for now. We'll be back. We will be back. I would like to know what's in the dough. I want to know what's in the case, man. What's in the case? What's in the case? Casey okay, so Galen. It's locked. The door is labeled Machine Room. Alright. The zombies we hear are below, which is fine. There's some kind of vehicle in this room as well, in the middle of the room. We will learn more as we go, but I assume because all of the airplanes flew this direction, we're going to encounter just about everybody who did not die on the island, which means everybody, pretty much, because nobody died on the damn island, man. Everybody got away. Except for Mr. Iceman, who got away, but we destroyed him on the way, flying away. The 
bed. It must have been a worker's lodgings. Okay. Oh, look. A not dead zombie, probably. Most likely. Kind of wish I had my knife so I don't have to waste my ammo. But I have a lot of handgun ammo now, so I'm o I guess I'm okay with using some of it. Alright. There's a, there's a shiny back there. I'm going to get it. Don't worry. <gasps> there's a map here. Aw, oh, man. I can't get to it because the dead body's in the way. Which means that bitch is going to wake the fuck up. You know these zombies are going to wake up. As soon as you grab the shiny, all the zombies are going to wake up. So prepare for that. I like that they give you a bunch of ammo when you first get here. Because just in case you used it all against Mr. Iceman. Oh, there's another zombie here, huh? Well, whatever. Pick up the shiny. What is it? It's... Ooh, bowgun powder. Cool. I still have plenty of arrows sitting in my inventory box when I get a new box. Are you alive, sir? Hmm. Ooh, ammo and a first aid spray. I'll take I'll take the No. Oh, that's what happens. Really? I get it now. I didn't even notice that. No wonder I used that one first aid spray that one time. Cuz apparently if you press the button it uses it right away. Speaking of using it right away, Let's go ahead and use this. I'm in the yellow. You only YOLO. I mean, you know. Anyway, let's take all this shit. There's another item here. Handgun bullets. Take them. Take them now. <sighs> oh, look, he's alive. Big surprise. There's also some more bullets on the bed. More bullets on the um, bed. Which I will grab. Um, he's not dead, is he? doesn't really matter. I'm just going to line them up. I'm trying to only use what I need. Stay down, bitch. Where's the... There is... I'll say there's more bullets there. I remember... I saw them in the cutscene, man. Alright. One left. Nope, that ain't even dead. Oh, shit. Reload. Woohoo. Hell of my automatic. Semi-automatic, whatever you want to call it. Alright, scary music stopped, means we win. And I can see the more bullets in the background over here as well, don't worry, I saw them. There's also a journal here or something? Worker diary, alright. October 30th, when I joined Umbrella Inc., I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the rest of my life, being employed by this huge corporation. It's a joke that I ended up being a, del a driver at a place like this. I asked for a position change but, they change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. My hard-earned vacation was canceled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head, Alfred. That fool doesn't even deserve forgiveness. He, even, he doesn't even treat us like human beings. I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. He says there is a man who has been confined for over ten years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu and are deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. At midnight I woke, to an, woke up to an ominous growling sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this. Nosferatu, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Talk about foreshadowing what we may be facing off against later. Anyway, let's pick up that goddamn base map. Antarctic Transportation Base Map. Alright. Ooh, what's that? More ink ribbons. Jesus, do I really need more ink ribbons? Do I... Claire Redfield, look to need more of your ink ribbons? Apparently so. Fuck your ink ribbons. Shove them straight up your arse. We need an item box, man. I ain't got no more space. I ain't got no more space, man. I ain't got no more space. Hopefully there's an item box coming up so I don't have to backtrack much. I'm going to have to come back up here anyway since there's the, the metal cutter or whatever. The diamond cutters down here. Speaking of things, we have the map now. Let's see what we have. Antarctic Transport Terminal B2F. We were in B1F. We pretty much searched everything we could. Pretty much seen all that we can so far. Can we go back in the plane? We might be able to go back in the plane. And I just didn't try hard enough. I don't know. Let's look around for a bit more. Monster might have been the killer. 
Yeah, probably. Giant spider? No, that's not a spider. That's a weird looking larv larvae thing. Oh shit. Get off me, you bitch. Oh Jesus, what the fuck is crawling on me? The fuck? Am I poisoned, by the way? I am poisoned. Use your blue herbs. I'm okay with that. There we go. Got him. Alright, fair enough. By the way, what the fuck's going on in this room? It's just a hallway. Life is a hallway. I didn't mean to go in the dough. Oh, hello. We're in this room. Ah, come on, man. Stay aiming at him. He didn't move. He didn't change his angle of trajectory at your face, girl. You dead? No, you ain't dead. We need to make you dead. Alright, now he dead. Reload. Boom. Oh, come on, man. Stay aiming at him. Don't fucking change your aim, girl. Stay aiming at the point at which you are aiming. Do not fuck around. Alright, we're good. I'm trying to tap it to the point where I'm only shooting one bullet, but sometimes it's hard to pull off. Um, yeah, this is a big room. There's a few doors to go through here. Uh, let's look around, though. There's buttons. It's a power switch for the sorter. No. I don't know what that means. A control panel for the sorter. There's no power. Okay, well then fuck it. Press the power supply. Seems that power is not being supplied. Alright, well. Things are dead. We must reinvigorate things around here. What's going on here? Alright, we got a weapon. Weapon? Okay, we're going in there if we can. Hold up. Yeah, you see that shiny up there? I saw that shiny up there. I like how they give you that angle real quick, just so you don't forget. So you just case. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, bro! Whoa! Do try to fucking come at me! How dare you? That bro tried to come at me. You know what I'm saying? Get up, bitch! I ain't done with you. Reload, and you're dead. This is why I want an uh, item box so I can use my knife instead of wasting all my damn handgun ammo. I mean, I had a lot, so I'm not really, like, that sad about it. Still, I'd rather not waste it with my automatic and shit, man. I see a key. I have space for it, I think, because I used up the blue herb. God, how many zombies are in this goddamn room? Anyway, let's grab the key. We got the mining room key. Okay, mining room key indeed. Oh, hello. Stay down, bitch. Reload. You're dead? You're dead. Alright. Anybody else? I think the sounds have, have passed. Whoa, what? Oh, snap! That is a weapon that I want, but I don't have space for. Man. Man, I want it. I want it. What's that? Some kind of AK-47. Alright, apparently every time I examine this wall, it's just going to open the same one. That's fine. That's fine. Now we can run with an AK-47, baby. Some missiles lined up there. That guy's going to wake up, isn't he? Damn it, we don't have room, man! It's locked. Explosives are set, but the detonator's missing. Okay... That's cool. We need a ugh, we need an item box, and we need one now. We need to find one. I thought for sure that would be a, a fucking room that would have one. Weapon room? I thought it would be like a save point room where we can get more weapons. But no. That's not what it is. We need one of those, and we need one right about now. What do we got? We got big room. Let's look around. I'm scared. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know how to react. 
Gas mask lock releases if a gas leak occurs. Okay, so if there's a gas leak, open up, grab the gas. Am I poisoned? Did I just get poisoned? That bitch. I gotta go back. I gotta go get unpoisoned. I can't walk around poisoned. That'll only eventually kill me, and I don't have any more blue herb. So, how am I gonna get unpoisoned? Well, I just so happen to notice that back over here, in the hallway of cocoons or whatever you want to call it there was this oh shit there's another fucking bastard in here though yes use the blue herb you use the blue herb sounds good all right um i'm gonna ignore that bitch for now and i'm gonna go back we'll kill those bitches or ignore them whatever may be the case as we go through there more often i was just kind of waiting and biding my time for giant spiders you knew they were coming at least i knew they were coming Maybe you knew they were coming because you played this game before, but I knew they were coming. You can't have Resident Evil without at least one giant spider. I heard the tapping, so I I was scared. I was like, what the fuck's going to come? Maybe I should have killed all the spiders in here for, before I went back. Um, what else do I have to f kill them with? I don't have any fire on me. I have these, but I need to combine them with some arrows. Fucking spiders, man. Where are you at? Oh, that's below me. That's, oh, that's great. Just, yeah, just stay down there. Please. There's two things of ammo over here. I'll take those. Oh, shit. Hello. Whoa. What? What is he stuck on? I'm not complaining. He was just stuck on something. That was weird. Seems to be a part... This seems to be part of the sorter. The belt conveyor is broken. There's a gap. Okay. Bitch trying to poison me. What an asshole. I can't take any more items. At least they're just bow and arrow things. I don't need those. Um, more herb. That's, oh, oh, I used it now? Well, technically I did need it, so that's fine. There's another one here. I can barely see it, but it is there. It looks like this one's a blue one. If it's not, a, either way, I don't need it right now. Raising something in. Maybe they had Metroids in these, uh, these containers. They look like Metroid casings, don't they? You can't take any more items. Storehouse B.O. Dub. Oh, man, dude. I have no space for anything. No space for any goddamn things. Well, then. Okay. We need to find a room to drop things off. I still can't help but wonder if we can go back in the, in the damn plane. But I'm going to check every room that's around before I go back and try that. Yes, mining room key. Use it. Thank you. No longer need it. Go ahead and discard it. Sweet. Okay, well, that's one less item in our inventory. But even so, there were so many items in the last two rooms we went into, I don't have space for all of them. Let's figure out what we can do about emptying our inventory, and then we'll worry about what else we can carry. This room is very echoey. Ooh, okay. Mining room. Um, map. Oh, map, 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 Let's see what's in this door before we explore the map. You wouldn't happen to be an item box room, would you? Oh, God, dogs. Dogs. Fucking dogs, man. Oh, shit. I thought I was at the, I thought I was all the way against the wall already. All right, fucking dogs, man! I hate them. There's another one. See you. See your ass. You ain't hiding from me. Reload. Woohoo! That was close. Fuck you, dog. What the? Fucking wasting my bullets and shit, man. Come on, dog. Bitch ass. All right. How we doing on ammo? We're still over 100. I'm happy with that. As soon as I can get that knife, though, I'm bringing it with me. Although I will shoot the dogs. Dogs get shot. I may want to stab some zombies, but dogs, they get shot. What's going on in here? Can we twist anything? Can we turn anything? Can we press anything? Can we do anything? Oh, look, more ammo. I'll be taking that. More ammo. I'll be taking. Come on. T uh, take. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um. Besides dead dogs. Dead dogs tail no tails. Ooh, what's over here? The switchboard powers down. I must activate the generator first. Okay. 
Where's the generator? Must activate. Is it back here? What's going on over here? Oh, there's more herbs back here. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave those there. Don't have space to carry that shit around. I will make sure I come back for those. Lots of things I got to go back for, I know. What's going on back here? Um, not a lot going on back here. But I, I'm getting toward the blue light finally, which is good. Is this going to be the generator? There's a lever for the generator. Use it! Don't abuse it, though. Yay, we have power! Usually when you bring back these scary places, like bring them back to life, bad things happen. So, good job. Good feckin' jab. They took your gerbs! Alright, what are we doing? Power's been restored. Restore the electric power, sure. This is a bad idea. Go ahead and do it anyways. Now what? Wait, what? What are you looking at? Are you looking at dead dogs? Okay, I thought she was looking at something else. Um, alright, well, this room... It has... Oh, there's another herb right there. Holy shit, I didn't even see that one. That one, that one was right where I... How did I not notice that one? That one's actually easy to see. I'll take it. Fuck it. Um, god, now I'm not even gonna end up coming back to this room, probably. Unless there's something else to do here, but I don't think there is. I think we've pretty much exhausted all the options of this room. So, I, oh god, there's hella herb in here. Holy shit, there's herbs right there, too. God damn. Oh, you know what? I know why I couldn't see that herb there. Because all of a sudden it's light in here because we turned the power on. So now I can see all the damn herbs. So there's like four green herbs, five green herbs total. I have four of them. Holy balls. We're coming back for some herb, guys. We're coming back for some herb. Anyway, in the meantime, let's look around some more, shall we? I assume we can climb up here. Stars. What's this up here? There's a hole shaped like an octagon. There's a notice. Poison gas in case of emergency seal off. Okay. Well, I don't have anything shaped like an octagon right now, nor is there poison gas coming out, so no worries on either one of those. Is that all that's in this room right now? Yeah. Pretty simple chair room. I think the whole point of what we did right here is we turned the power back on, so now some things are going to be more activated again. Like, oh, we can activate the little sorter thing over here. The little sorter thing. More like big sorter thing. Something tells me this big sorter thing is going to be bad news brown. Power switch for the sorter. On. Is there going to be zombies on the sorter? The other creatures. Power switch for the sorter. Lower the lever. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what that accomplishes, but go ahead. Sorter is working. Okay. That's fine then, I guess. There is a notice. Anti BOW gas handle with care. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we need to do. Huh. I'm not entirely sure what we need to do here. I guess we'll leave it at that for now until we figure out what that needs to do. I can tell that that sorter sent the stuff down somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Either way, we're going to have to come back this way because not only for the sorter, but I want to go back in the two rooms and pick up a bunch of shit. But we need a fucking item box first, so let's run through here. Try not to get... There we go. Try not to, but I just did. Oh, no, I didn't get poisoned. Keep running then. Get the fucking bitch off of me. Get the fucking bitch off of me. I just noticed that there's little fucking maggots around my back, but it's alright. Um, wait, what's the yellow? What's the yellow on the map? Oh! Oh, wait. Wait. Maybe the sorter sent something over there? Either way, I need space, man. We can't do nothing until we get some space. I just have to look around until I find a goddamn item box. And if I don't find one soon, like I said, I'm going to try to go back to the, the airplane. Wait. This is already going back to the airplane. Well, let's go back to the airplane then. Never mind on let's maybe go back. Let's just go back. Also, those things are in my back. Can we uh, somehow get those bitches off my back? I don't like them. plane cannot be used anymore. There's no need to go back in. But, but why not? 
Why not? There's an item box and a save spot in there. Why not? You really? You won't let me go back in there? Fine. Fine. Wait. The room up here that said emergency or special personnel only, or whatever the fuck it said, I don't remember what it said exactly. Emergency restricted area, okay. Just double checking that it's not open now, just because I turned the power on. Um, okay, so the sorter... Fuck, man, we need an item box room. The game has got to give me one soon, right? I think I just went the wrong way through the through the maggot hall. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, hold on, map, 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 map. Mibbity, 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 map. Go ahead and go down. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl. Go down them stairs, yo. Go ahead, girl. Go down them stairs, yo. All right, go straight. Ah, get them off you. Get them off you. Go, bitch. Go. Am I poisoned? Am I poisoned? Shit, I'm poisoned. All right, well then. Get off me, bitch. I want to get the poison off me. Go ahead and use it. All right, now look at the map. Where have we not been? We have been in the door next to me, but I have not been in the door. Oh, that that door right there at the end. Okay, I got I got kind of turned around on the map is what happened earlier. Fuck these things, man. They like to attach those fucking things on your back. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. I didn't go in this door. Watch, let me guess. This is the item door, and I completely walked right by it. Son of a bitch it is. Can we, can we get these bitches off of me? Like, all of them? Get them off of you. Get them off of you, Claire. You got one more. I'm hella poisoned right now, and I can't really do much about it. There's an item box right next to me, by the way. Let's get rid of it. You know what? Do I have a blue herb in here? I might have. No, actually, I don't think I do. Let me confirm nor deny that I do not. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have things. Let's, uh... I guess we'll pick up this stuff real quick. It's right here. There's also green herbs in here. Man, there's so much shit I gotta pick up. I'm gonna put everything away, man. Put everything away. Although, we might have an episode here, actually. Let's pick up some stuff real quick, but then we'll end the episode here, I think. So let's get those. Actually, let me combine this with this real quick, just so I have those ready to go. Alright, put... That away, that away, that away for now. Put the first aid spray away for now. Let's put the crossbow away until I'm ready to use it, and the grenade launcher. I have no more grenade rounds, by the way, so that's getting put away for a while. We'll keep the ink ribbons for a minute, because we're probably going to save it. There's also some more on the table. We'll take them. Hopefully she'll get that little carpet muncher off of her back in a second, so I can just... There we go. Get that little bitch off of you. There you go. That's a good girl. Is there something in here? Some kind of sound going on in here, I just realized. The only useless books are here. It seemed that something was dragged down here. What is the sound I'm hearing? Indentation in the shape of a halberd. It's locked. No keyhole can be found. So what? Use your lockpick, girl. You got one. Use it. No, apparently not. Alright. Unless I'm just get unless that sound is just me being poisoned. Um, actually, hmm. there's a file here. Alexander's Memo. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for a purpose of military use. Wrong way. Eventually, their, sturdy, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-virus. To camouflage their research, they, to camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Amical Inc., I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at, the ma at a major disadvantage against other researchers, as there is a great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honorable name of the Asher family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If, no is no yeah, if nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. 
Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Asher family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. I'm confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name and that honor will be restored to the Asher family once again. So this place is called Veronica, or Code Veronica, whatever you want to call whatever, however you want to refer to it. Either way, let's save it. I think that sound is just because I'm being poisoned. I have no idea. Anyway, time to save over from the first save of the game. We have come full circle. And that's going to do it for this episode, by the way. I'll see you guys next time. We'll explore more of this place and hopefully not die from poisoning. So I'll see you guys then. Peace!